Hey everyone, welcome to Echocalypse, uh, a little bit of a tongue twister there. And uh, this is your soft launch. So let's uh, take a look at what is the coverage for the soft launch before we um, take a look at all the goodies here that we are about to discuss. So for the announcements, um, the soft launch, I didn't know when this was out. Um, I found out, I think, uh, the, uh, the other day um, this soft launch is only available in the Philippines while a beta test will be held in Australia so pre-registration will be gradually be available for other regions so right now if you're in the Philippines I'm not sure if this works with a VPN you can actually play Echocalypse already this was out um, I think July 28th so not sure yet when will, will this be available in other countries or will, will this be available global but for the meantime people in the philippines will have will can access this and can download this and also i'm not sure if you can do this on a vpn so put your comments down guys if you can play the game using a vpn uh and download uh, this game Eco uh, ecocalypse ecocalypse really difficult to pronounce but again um this was a really really nice surprise for me especially uh when i was browsing through the new games um upcoming for august i really missed this one so uh i've been playing since you know this morning and um yesterday i downloaded the game didn't use that account i i opened another account and i got this one so definitely a game that you should try on it's it's your basic gacha rpg turn-based um a lot of things to showcase you have here your squad by the way the waifus here are fantastic if i may say so as you can see this is uh, my team already this is your wallpaper your case is actually your the heroes or units that you're going to be playing with so i have here srs the orange ones are the ssrs the the blue ones are the r's even for the r's they look fantastic so again um from the start um you'll be using more or less s uh srs so the purple ones uh, to start with. And uh, the good thing about this is it's purely turn-based. It's mostly on an automated, uh, you know, it aut automated uh, battle system. I'll take you to one of the battles that I have here for the story so that you guys can see what I mean. So um, you have to set up your case or cases or your heroes. Uh, and they automatically uh, they automatically do something uh, in the order of uh, in the front row, the first on on the top going down, then the second row from the top going down as well. So each of your cases have their ultimates. Okay, so the first round will be your basic attack. The second round, they will be recharging it. As you can see there, there are four bars on top. So while they are recharging their ultimate, they will be using their basic attacks. So neat, right? The only customization that you can have here is... Uh, sorry, I forgot to enable auto battle. So when you do auto battle, um, also these guys here below will be included in the loop of turns so you can use th this will be actually used if you don't do auto battle then you'll have to use them let's do another round so that i could explain more further on the battle system okay so let's just uh, confirm these and attack so the art the art the design i'm in love with it at this point uh, there is actually a two times auto, one one times auto. Let's just uh, do this one times. Um, this is an auto ready. If you deactivate auto here, then these kills below are called your artifacts. They you'll have to manual them. 
uh, and this is the, the countdown or the energy that they require or, or that you are generating and the four here is the energy that they require so once you off your you turn off your auto then you'll have to manually click them like right now but if you don't want to do that you could actually program them the sequence is again the first second third and fourth so you can reprogram which artifact goes off uh, first up to the last one. So let's do this with the uh, auto in mind. So again, going back to the formation, your formation will dictate the order in which they will go in order um, the which in which they will attack. So again, that is your customization. So so far, I'm I'm finding it g nice because i uh, it's it's actually it's actually a nice side game to have it doesn't um doesn't require you really to be on it uh most of the time so let's do another one let's do another round of battles here before we move on to the next phase so um i'll go to the gacha system in a while so again um as you can see here they will all go with the basic attacks for your heroes or your units. And then the second round will be their ultimates. They will have their each individual ultimate. So I have here a DPS. You have their tanks. You have a bruiser there. Um, there are a lot of classifications actually in this game in terms of your your heroes or units i'm gonna call them waifus i'm not sure if they're all girls but at this point most of uh, most of your heroes are of female so let's go and check out their classifications in the case menu okay let's uh, get out of this it's good that it runs smooth in your in my emulator, so I don't have a problem. So your case here, so as you can see, once you click, then there is a description of uh, what they are good at. This is a DPS, DPS as well. This is your support, more or less your healer. Then damage absorption, this is your brawler, actually. Your AOE shield, this is your tank. AOE healing reduction. I'm not sure how, what her, you know, she's, a, she's my only SSR here. Garula. Um, I still have to know how to play her. And this is you. You're going to have your own, your own, what do you call this? Your own unit. But this is only temporary. You'll have to use the more powerful um, units or heroes that you have so you can take a look at them you can arrange them according to their clan or their group or their faction as you go down squad is here you can assemble your squad you can change your squad here in this button here you can you can mix and match their deployment. You can transfer whichever sequence that you want, including the artifacts. If you have unlocked another artifact, so this, there's an assist. So if you unlock another artifact, you can actually put, you can actually mix and match again. So this is where you set up things. Also, you have, there are a lot of this game. A lot of things that I will cover for this game. So artifacts, storehouse, this is your inventory. So gift bag opens when I open this. Flower. Okay. So anyway, so that is it. So uh, artifact, case, squad, syndicate. There are a lot of content yet that I have to unlock. So chat is here. Steel ambition. This is content again that uh, you will have to unlock and get some freebies okay so going to the gotcha system you may go through here or you may go through draw so your currency is this one your elementium you can actually also spend uh, this currency here this is your i don't i'm not sure what this is called there the crystals uh, no, I'm not buying anything. <laughs> wants me to buy something. 
anyway, um, this crystal also buys your your elementium. This is your elementium, so you can use this to summon as well. Ten will give you a ten draw, as you can see, and um, your draw weight. Uh, okay, so we're at. So this is your draw weight. When you reach 50, then you are guaranteed a SSR in this case. So you have your advanced draw. I don't think there are other banners here at this point. Card pool preview. So we can preview. Uh, and here is the general uh, SSR general probability. It's 3%, which is kind of higher than your average gotcha. And that is it. So this one, tokens used for draw procurement can be obtained through Elementium. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So that is it. So so far, so far, I'm I'm enjoying it for the, for it's a game wherein I don't have to invest a lot of attention. You could do a lot of uh, kind of auto in this game um the customization again would be on the artifact sequence the and the sequence of your squad and that is it so so far for those of you guys who are interested in this one you will have to try to use a vpn and download it uh, this is the soft launch is currently available in the philippines and it's currently under cbt in australia so for those who are interested to follow me in future content for this, please do subscribe because I'll be making a lot of content up until global launch for Echocalypse. So that is it, guys. So hopefully um, I won't I won't go. I won't delve too much on the other content here like patrol. You have your complex. Sorry, I forgot to mention this. So this is your dorm type dormitories is here. Then Leisure Center. So this is your Affinity Archives and Showroom. So usually the same with pretty much with the other gotcha. But this one, visually speaking, I'm happy with this. The gameplay will have to try it out and see if how it goes whether it's going to be a good game down the line we will have to play more of it so again guys if you want more content from this game please do follow me or subscribe to my channel i'll be creating more content up until global launch and thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here